Hello, everyone. Welcome to Nails and Beauty Talk. I am your host, Asia the Bird. Today, I have a very special guest with me today, a returning guest. She is a nail artist. Please welcome back, Telly Talons. Hello, Telly, and welcome to the show. Hi, how are you? Hello, hello. I'm great. How are you? I'm great. I'm so happy to be back. I have like yes. so much to tell you. I know you have so <laughs> much to ask. Like, yeah, yeah. It's been like a little over a year. So, yeah, been a long time coming. Mm -hmm. So, I definitely want to go ahead and really ask, like, you know, since it's been over a year since we did our first podcast interview, like, tell us how life has currently been, you know, how things have been going. Wow. So, I think the last time that we spoke, it was in April. And yeah. honestly, in March, I felt a rut coming on in. I felt burnout. Mm -hmm. I felt like, oh, wow, I'm about to retreat. It yeah. didn't hit me until September. And from September to March right. of this year, or February of this year, so about like five mm -hmm. months, I hadn't really done nails. Like, I okay. hadn't... Um, I needed that break and I'm so grateful for that break. Um, I feel right. like I had to really get still within myself and kind of just like um, strengthen my faith and, and God and, and, right. and just kind of like rework what, what I wanted to do. Sometimes mm -hmm. you forget like your purpose or like your right. why. And so, um, mm -hmm. yeah, I had, I did that. And then I want to say, I was literally about to give up on nails. I was going to be like, honestly, this is the longest that I've like gone without doing it. I think mm -hmm. I'm just going to find something else. And right. my good friend, Nico, who's an amazing photographer, reached out to me to do a project. And it was something totally different than what he and I have done before. Usually right. we're on set and it's a bunch of right. people. But this time it was just me, the model, and him in his house. And it was so intimate. And I was like, oh my God, this is why I do it. Like I remembered my why. Yeah. And um, then right after that, nail con happened and it was just like back to back. And I was just like, mm -hmm. wow. Like I just really needed that time to like refresh. So mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, right. Absolutely. I think sometimes, you know, we do need a break in regards to like taking a step back from nails, you know, and just kind of regroup. So that's totally understandable where it was just like, you kind of, you know, was a little bit in the rut a little bit. And, you, and plus you needed a break, but you was like, okay, you know, you did this photo shoot and you back on your purpose. So that's so glad to have you back. Yes, yes. Can you imagine? I, I think about like, oh my God, if I would have stopped doing nails, like it, it's just it's just crazy how I literally was at my inn and mm -hmm. then all I had to do was keep pushing forward. Right. And mm -hmm. then boom. Like, you know what I mean? Because, exactly. um, yeah, so yeah. Mm, yeah, absolutely. So- you know, in regards to within this past year, you know, like I said, it's been over a little, little bit over a year. How has your perspective grown in terms of your views in regards to the nail industry? Well, okay, so nail con happened, and I feel like it really gave me a a huge perspective on the nail industry in terms of the way that we present ourselves. I feel right. like for makeup artists, um, hairstylists they are in the forefront of what they do, right? It's your right. face, mm -hmm. it's your head. Yeah. With nails, you don't really gotta post yourself, for real. You mm -hmm. just post in hands all day. And I feel mm -hmm. like um, it's important that we have representation of like who we are, like who we are, like truly like Picassos and Picassas, like, you know what I mean? Like, right. you know, yeah. we are artists on these little canvases. And I mm -hmm. feel like it's so important for us to show face and also connect. I feel like I'm such a hermit and there's a lot of people mm -hmm. that I didn't know about, or there's a lot of, there's just a lot of things that I just don't know. And right. putting myself out there in that regard really like allowed me to be like, wait, like maybe you need to mm -hmm. be more interactive and show mm -hmm. face. And it, it allows you to connect with your clients and your audience mm -hmm. way better. Um, right. So mm -hmm. yeah, for the most part, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Um, so in what ways also with your nail artistry, since you've been, you know, hopping back into nails, in what ways has your nail artistry grown? Have you experimented with, have you experimented with different mediums and things like that? So I'm really, I, I feel like I've just been more free and like trying not to like um, hold myself to like, no, you have to, everybody has a niche, a niche. Right. And I'm like, I don't want to have that. I, I don't want to have that. I want to be able to just experiment and, and do what I do. And I feel like um, 
it's it's so it's been a mindset thing, if anything, mm -hmm. right? Okay, right. so um, I still stay true to my um, charms and everything, but I think I'm just getting more extravagant and just like mm -hmm. more. I'm just opening up more. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You only put in one box. Yeah, like I don't want to mm -hmm. be known just for charms or just for three D. Like I, I just, I really just want to do it to the like I can't do it no more. Be limitless. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Exactly. Absolutely. So as of recently, I interviewed uh, Jasmine Selene from Nelcon. You did mention Nelcon earlier in this interview. Um, I definitely want to get into the Without Us exhibition with you, wow. Vanessa Claus, Honey Nails, and Nail Glam. So I definitely want to ask, like, how did that opportunity come about? And also within your perspective, what was that experience like having your work showcased? First of all, I love Jazz so much. Oh, my God. I love her so much. Um, so... Again, I was about to give up on nails. Nico had just asked me to do the shoe. Mm -hmm. um, Jazz reached out to me. And we had been following each other. Um, nail I've been following Nailcon. Mm -hmm. And um, she reached out to me. And she was just like, I have this amazing project. Let's hop on a call. Da, 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 da. We hopped on the call. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because um, the photographer, Tone, um, we had worked together unknowingly on the Theo at the Theophilio fashion show, um, mm. 2021. Okay. And then I want to say 2022 last year in the summer, I went to a party, a black fashion fair event. And, um, he was there and we, I was like, we finally introduced ourselves because we had been following each other on Instagram and right. we had never met. Right. And then, yeah. um, we found out like, oh my God, like we did work together or whatever. And he was just like, mm -hmm. I, I can't wait to work with you on a project. And so when him and Jazz were like talking, he was like, yeah, like let's get Telly. And like, and she was like, oh my God, like I follow her. Like I've been having her. I don't like, you know her, like let's call her whatever. And so um, that's how that came about. Um, and it was just such an amazing, amazing experience. Uh, I love being the talent, okay? Like, yes, I love being the artist and like coming to Pamper, but when you're the talent, it's a different vibe. Oh, right, um, right. It, was just, it was amazing to be in a conversation with such vets in the industry, Honey, mm -hmm. Nail Glam, Finisher Claws. Like, I'm mm -hmm. so happy and honored to um, share the same space with them. Yeah, that's really, really cool. And what that I liked about, you know, the promotion of the Without Us exhibition was that you all did like a set of nails, you know, using a model and things like that. And I like what you did, you know, with the jewelry and things like that. It was very experimental. Thank you. So, yeah. So you see, and I feel like it was the perfect opportunity to kind of like make that comeback. I hadn't posted mm -hmm. it in a minute. And so it was just like, yeah, I, I have to go all out. Um, mm -hmm. I... I really was in my head about it a lot, but mm -hmm. just like that's with anything, especially when you're diving into something new. Um, mm -hmm. But I'm so happy that I did it. Yeah, yeah, that's really, really cool. I definitely believe you should you should have like way more followers. I <laughs> like people know, sleeping on you. I I and I try not to get too caught up in that because I'm just yeah, like, yeah. Whoever's gonna find me, whoever's meant. I I do appreciate right, yeah. the community that I've built on mm -hmm. here, and yes, I'm trying to just. I'm practicing to just appreciate my journey. And I'm like, yeah, when yeah. that time comes, like, I'm going to be ready for it. I don't know if I'm such a hermit. I don't know if I could deal <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, people's time comes and things like that. You know, that's the same with me. Like, I'm not in the hundreds of thousands, but I'm like, yo, like, I'm I'm humble, you know, and I'm very grateful for, you know, how many people that do support me and things like that, you know, especially with the podcast and my artistry and things like that. So, yeah. And exactly, you. I feel like you. You build such a community, and and when you connect in that way, if you did have a hundred thousand followers, like how many of them would you actually be connecting with? Do you know what I mean? Like, right. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's like I just. Mm hmm. Mm, yeah, because you have like so many people following you. It's not as intimate. It's not as intimate. And I love intimacy. So it's just like, right. I'm happy with my little um, 1500. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's cool. That's really, really cool. So I definitely want to go ahead and, and push forward and really talk about, um, you, so you've done nails for different um, fashion photo shoots and editorials. One of the shoots that you did nails for was for Lola Brooke for Notion Magazine. So I wanted to go ahead and ask, Tell us a story about that photo shoot and what was your reaction meeting Lola Brooke? I actually didn't meet her. Really? 
really. So I have, I work in corporate. I have a job okay. and we had a set date for the shoot and I was mm -hmm. able to get off or whatever. And then they changed it like literally mm. like two days before. And I'm like, my job is not going to let me. So I sent the nails out. Mm. I heard that okay. she loved them. I heard that she's great. Um, and so, yeah, when I, everyone asks me like, oh my God, like, and I'm just like, I didn't get to meet her. <laughs> um, it's a, it's a, uh, a gift and a curse having mm -hmm. a job and having something else that you do. Um, right. because you don't, sometimes you don't get to connect with those people and like sell yourself in the way that, you know, you can. Mm -hmm. Um, but I'm happy to have been able to give my product out and like still be there in spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. I'm surprised. I thought like you would meet Lola Brooke and, you know, no, it just didn't work out. Every oh my god, honestly, mm. with fat and the way fashion works, like everything is just so up in the air. And like that's another mm. reason why I um kind of wasn't really doing nails because I I got this job that I'm working at um in like 2022, I believe. And okay. so it was it's, it provided a security for me that I needed. Um, but it mm. also kind of like stunted what I could do. But mm -hmm. it also allowed me to be picky about what I want to do. Do you know what I mean? Right. So, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Now, what is like the corporate job, if you don't mind me asking? Well, I won't say, but it is a is a fashion um, company, okay. a very well-known designer. Um, I'm okay. the receptionist slash office coordinator there. Mm. So I'm kind of like the assistant to everyone, basically. <laughs> um, okay. But it's amazing that I work in fashion and like I work in fashion you know what I mean like I'm that's doing cool right now so it's like my world is colliding mm. yeah that's really really cool I definitely want to get into more of the marketing and branding side of things so I see that you've re you know established your brand um Telly Town so what has been the journey in regards to establishing your brand more so I I in 2020 I launched sweaters I released sweaters um mm from my like most iconic shoot that I did and it didn't sell well mm. and so I then like just retreated like I was like okay like how what can I do like what can I do to make people like want to wear this or for whatever the case may be um and I was just like first of all my logo has to change I wanted a logo that was that would be wearable and that right. is chic and that that I know that I would wear that is fashion right and so mm -hmm. um, tying my love for fashion into my brand, I think I just tied myself into my brand a bit more. Right. You know what I mean? Because not a lot yeah, of people yeah, yeah. know what I looked like, probably until like the interview that you and I did together. I never really posted myself. And so mm -hmm. I wanted, I just like just implementing things about me into my brand. Right. Um, mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, and for Nelcon, I actually... It was so random. I like ordered the shirt from Amazon and I was like, oh my God, I, I need to have like Telly Talents on my shirt and like show my new logo. This is like, this is my comeback, right? Mm -hmm. And then when we were on set, they're like, oh my God, you have to sell these. These are so good. And I'm like, wait, really? Like, and then, so now I did these hats. And mm -hmm. so it's just, I'm excited. Yeah, that's really, really amazing. I definitely want to get into just in regards to speaking of fashion, like how, how would you describe your fashion style? I think again I'm I'm very experimental but I'm also very like um I love a vintage piece. I'm always mm -hmm. going to have a piece and then mix it in with some new. I think uh, my style can be comfortable. Mm -hmm. It could be sexy sometimes. It could be chic. Um I'm always going to have heels. You know what? It's either heels and a mini skirt or a dress. Or I'm gonna be totally comfortable in sweatpants. <laughs> that, <laughs> that's the duality. And even in my in my art, you see that like it'll be a either super simple nail or something right. like over the top and extravagant. Like that's mm -hmm. just me. <laughs> yeah. So you're like a variation of things, experimental. Exactly. Yeah, that's really really cool. So I want to get into in regards to the growth of technology and social media. So we live in a time where social media has been growing, you know, as well as technology has been growing, especially, you know, AI is coming more into fruition. So I definitely want to go ahead and ask, like, what is your perspective in the growth of technology, especially with AI in regards to the beauty industry? I'm so 
Okay, a part of me is nervous about AI because yeah. it's all about perspective and whose hands it's in, right? Yeah. Like not everybody will have the same agenda um, when it comes to this. And I just hate the fact that it'll put people out of a job. So I'm right. all for innovation and I'm all for like, yay, technology and like, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. like work exactly. smarter, not harder. But mm -hmm. if that's at the cost of our livelihoods, I don't like it. Um, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, just in regards to like AI, I think AI is going to get, you know, bigger and bigger. And the things like how you were saying about the nail printers, you know, nail printers is, you know, out now, um, you know, where you, like how you said, stick your finger in and it paints your nails or mm -hmm. print your sign, you know, which is kind of interesting. But also, I too, really like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't like it either. Like, not only does it put us out of a job, but like, when I put my hand in here, is it going to like, like what's going to happen? You know, like, I, I don't know if you ever seen this <laughs> video. Um, the This boy was playing chess with a robot uh -huh. and it like grabbed and like broke his finger. I think I heard of that. You know, like I don't want to put my yeah, hand in something and the next thing I know, I can't get my hand out. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that was crazy. Mm -mm. That's really, really crazy. But also too, like, I think there's like this Japanese um artist that does like this ai and it's like no like no art no art designs using ai i seen that and i was so tricked and bamboozled because i was like oh my god this is so beautiful how can i do this how can and then i'm reading the comments and it's like it's ai and i'm like girl <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. i'm into real life you know what i mean right like, mm -hmm. yeah yeah i definitely believe ai is never gonna, gonna replace human creativity at all it at was. all no way. Yeah, it won't. Because the thing is, you know, and that's like with, you know, with beauty in terms of makeup, because what's happening now also, too, is not only with the nail printers and things like that. If you look at makeup, like you look at like Snapchat and things like that, they have like these makeup filters and then yes. TikTok got these AI makeup filters. And I'm like, yo. And it honestly, I'm really not into filters. I feel like people are really confused about what they look like in real life in these filters. Like they think that they are these filters and it yeah, is yeah. really, it really tricks the brain. It does a number on people's self-esteem. Like I'm, I'm yeah. not into it. Um, but I will say I'm actually taking a coding class right now um, okay. to learn. I, I do want to just like have better like web, web development skills. And I think mm -hmm. AI can be good for like making our websites more fun right. and, mm -hmm. and interactive. Yeah, yeah. Things like that. I'm into things like that. Yeah, yeah, um, me too. Opposed to like letting it like take over and do the nails for us. I'm, I'm not with that. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there has been a lot of nail trends out now. So there's so much creative freedom within nails now. And it's really, really cool to see that. But I want to really ask, what are like your top three favorite nail trends? Asia, you're going to be like, oh my God, this girl. I hate nail trends. <laughs> I hate them. I feel mm. like it all looks the same sometimes. Like you mm -hmm. ever on your explore page and it's just like, kind of just like the the same yeah, thing yeah, yeah. i'm so sick of those aura nails cut it out <laughs> <Stop it. laughs> I just, um, but I, I will say that i do like anything 3d um mm -hmm. so I, I was i was loving the sissy clay is that how you say it yeah the sissy clay the sissy clay i did love that um mm -hmm. so i'm into anything 3d charms but I'm I'm really not into the nail trends. I'm into I'm into individuality and originality. Yeah, um, yeah same. And I do think that I have such a unique perspective because I'm not an everyday um, nail artist. You know what I mean? Like right. you have to like where people are coming in and they're seeing inspiration and they want you to recreate this nail trend for them. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's actually why I don't do session manicures either because mm -hmm. she's like I want you to come with something different um right. mm -hmm. so yeah I'm really not into the nail trends mm. sorry yeah yeah I like some of the trends but you know I don't What's know if like um like how you say like 3D um the chrome's pretty cool um there's mm -hmm. like this chrome gel uh polish that's out now um uh, from ice gel yeah um 
there's like a few other things, you know, like how you said, experimental things, um, gems and things like that, like Finesse Claus does. Yes. Um, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But I don't even feel like, but that's the thing. She sets the trends. You know what I mean? Like she, I don't really necessarily feel like she is following the trends. I feel like she's kind mm -hmm. of, she's setting the trends. So I feel like there, mm -hmm. there's a difference in, in that. Um, she is the trend. So everyone else is like replicating that, which I think is kind of annoying because it's like, as a nail artist, we have so much creativity and we can do so much. So like, it's okay mm -hmm. to be inspired by someone and, you know, recreate your own version. But like, I think that there should be some type of cap and limit, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, yeah, right, exactly. Yeah, but also too, I think, you know, there, there's so many trends that are like, uh, like how you said, you know, there should be some sort of like, you know, I would say not necessarily a cap, but more so like credibility, I would say. Oh, yes, that too. You know yeah. what I mean? I think that's something that needs to be improved a lot more in the nail industry in terms of, you know, giving credit to, you know, black who women. Who started the trend, yep. You know, who started the trends. And I remember um, I did an interview with Nelda by Chelsea. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she said like, you know, she's a nail artist from the UK. And she said like, you know, a lot of credit for a lot of nail trends goes to the black community. You know what I mean? Because we've set the trends and things like that. And everything. Yeah, and everything, <laughs> you know, so we set the tone. And, and that's the thing, too, what's so very common, too, is that with these different industries, like, you know, thinking like outside the nail and beauty industry, like these different industries, I feel like there's a thing of trying to kick us out in terms of contributions. So crazy. You know, yeah, yeah. Because without us, without us. Yes. You, like it, you, you would be so, bo they would be so boring, honestly. Mm -hmm. They would be still doing solid colors, French manicure, like, you know what I mean? Like, and it's just yeah, like, yeah. but to kick the creators out, what, what will you be able to create? Like you would need mm -hmm. to, you need some, you need a source, you know what exactly. I mean? Like, how are you trying to kick the source out? I just, it's just crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Now, what are some like your favorite, like products to use for like, you know, your nail art? So, um, IBD hard gel is like, like that's my holy grail. Um, any charm, I get charms from everywhere, whether it's Amazon, whether mm -hmm. I'm walking into like some type of jewelry store. Um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I think too, I love the fact that like with nails, like you don't have to get things that are specifically for nails. Do you know what I mean? Right. Like, mm -hmm. um, right. So I just, I love that. Um, as far as, Palette. Oh, top coat. I love Koopa. If mm -hmm. that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, Koopa. Um, my local um, beauty supply store, Angelina Nail Supply. Um, she sells a lot of good stuff that I love. Like, um, mm -hmm. they're actually like, they have a branded top coat that I love. Um, right. D and D OPI Perfect Match. I actually my local nail salon that I still go to to do my toes. Um, we have a really good relationship, and like they order me stuff from vendors mm -hmm. that only they have access to in China. Um, mm -hmm. So a lot of their products I love too. Yeah, that's really really cool. Yeah. Now, in terms of a top five list of nail artists, if you had a top five list of nail artists, who would they be and why? Pressure. Okay. Um, <laughs> I am I am Curate Nails. Um, she is so innovative. Mm -hmm. I just again love anybody with originality and like just pushing, pushing, pushing the limits. Mm -hmm. um, Nail Maestro. I mm -hmm. actually he's from Africa. Actually, and it's, I, I love technology. I love social media because it's like. I feel like we have access to different nail artists around the world. Right. Yeah. For me in real life, you know what I mean? Um, right. Also so innovative. And actually he is like what I'm trying to do, the direction that I'm trying to push in and just having these extravagant nails that are like super obnoxious. Like he yeah. is that. And I, I love that. Um, Ori nailed it. We actually went mm -hmm. to school together. I'm not sure if she knows that, but um, she's such a good sculptor. She like will sculpt like the lollipops on nails. She did like these crystal ball nails that I really loved. Um, let me see. Artist Sun Nails also. She's from Denmark in Europe. Um, mm -hmm. 
she made these like really beautiful flower nails like um her and a um florist actually collabed together and she made nails out of real flowers and so i love mm. that and then um mm. You, of course, hello. <laughs> I feel like you are, no, like you're literally an artist. Like, do you paint? Yes, I do paint. Like, yeah, on a bigger canvas? Like, yeah. No, I don't paint on a bigger canvas. Um, I don't paint on other canvas, not as much. I'm more like digital. I do digital art, okay. um, you know, because I don't know if you see some of my posts and some of my illustrations. Um, so I'm like, I'm more into the digital, you know, yeah. but nail art, you know, is like my canvas, you know, painting okay. with wash and experiment and things like that. What do would you, would you try to paint, uh, on a bigger canvas? Not so much a big, I'm not into bigger canvases. I mean, probably so I'll probably would try in the future. I you know like what I mean? So good. <laughs> do you Thanks. draw them out? Like, at first, like, how do you, what's, how many, am I, I'm interviewing you now. What's your process? <laughs> <laughs> so for me, um, you know, for usually with my canvas or if it's like digital, I'll draw it out first and then okay. really do like the line work and then the character coloring and things like that. So that's the same thing with uh, the nail art that I do. So essentially, yeah. you know, I'll paint the nails white and I have mm -hmm. a matte top coat, you know, and file it down and then pretty much sketch out my characters and what I want to draw and paint. And, you know, I just go from there. I love that. So, yeah, those are my top fives. <laughs> Thank I, I love individuality. I love originality. I just love when people are in their own lane. That's my favorite thing. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. That's really, really cool. Yeah. Some of the arts, I have to, I have to look them up. Um, I definitely want to get into in regards to uh, mental health because I think mental health is very, very important. And so I want to go ahead and ask like, how have you been able to balance, you know, being a nail artist with life and mental health? <clears throat> so again, um, Within that break that I took with 2022 as a whole, right? I had to come to terms with the fact that I'm not an I'm not an everyday nail tech. I'm not a person who does session manicures and I don't have to post every day. And I was feeling really guilty about that. I feel mm -hmm. guilty that like I work on probably about, I would say maybe like up to 10 projects for the year and, mm -hmm. and that's just it. Um Mm -hmm. I just had to come to terms with like, yeah, your mental health health is important and like you're not a machine and you can't, you're not, I'm not going to overwork myself to please Instagram or like, you know, mm -hmm. you know, and I feel like when you pull back your energy, sometimes it's, it's better received. And I think mm -hmm. that that just, that helps me so yeah, and like even like going for walks and just just unplugging from social media sometimes right. because it can be a lot and it, it's we have so many different apps and so many different like TikTok and and Twitter mm -hmm. and Threads now and right, Spill right. and like all these different things and it's just like sometimes you just need to like wusa and it also helps your mind creatively right because when you're right. on mm -hmm. these social media seeing all these different trends and these the work of art, it's kind of hard for you to like determine like what's yours or like what do you right. want to do? Um, mm -hmm. So taking a break from social media, going on walks, um, meditating, mm -hmm. things like that. That's what I do. Yeah, yeah. Because social media can be, social media can be too much. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're looking at somebody's work or different people's work, you know, you just, you know, because sometimes it can just lead to comparison mm -hmm. and you just don't want that for yourself. And, you know, and it's cool to take breaks, you know, from social media to get to get yourself a peace of mind. Yes. And um, yeah, just being OK with that, because there's so much the pressure of it all is just too much. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing. And that's what I like too. like how you were saying before, how people are so experimental, you know, like how you talked about Finesse Your Claws and some of the other nail artists, you know, like Nail Glam and, mm -hmm. you know, Bernadette Thompson, who created the money nails. And, yes. you know, I definitely believe with Bernadette, you know, I believe she deserves a lot more credibility in terms of the nail industry. You know what I'm saying? And you know what? Unfortunately, sometimes when you are the trailblazer, when you are the one setting trends, you never really get the credit because, right. you know, everyone's like now piggybacking off of you. And like, it's like, oh, and and, it, and it's unfortunate, especially being a black nail artist. And like she right. is the first nail artist, um, I think, to be in a museum and mm -hmm. to and to. Right. 
implement the the type of editorial work that she did. She's the first to bring editorial nails to fashion, I believe. And mm -hmm. and, and so it's just like Absolutely. and it and it just sucks because sometimes in in the industry when you are the first one to do something, you get overlooked. Mm, and that's the thing. Yeah. Like how I was saying, you know, earlier, you know, before, like, you know, like with these different industries that we've set the tone for, you know, our contributions is pushed way to the back. Way to the back. You know, so there's people that, that don't mention our contributions like that or it's at so all. True. It's so true. You know what I mean? It, it It's just it's just really, really crazy. But yeah, but mental health is very, very important. And, you know, you definitely want to, you know. Find, find those ways to take a break and things like that. You know, so I like how you talked about meditating, mm -hmm. you know, and things like that. So that's very, very important. Now, where do you see the Telly Talents brand in five to 10 years? I, I would like to think that I am right now building an accessory brand. Mm -hmm. I don't really, like, of course, I'm going to always be known for nails and, mm -hmm. you know, but nails it's an accessory, right? Mm -hmm. right. Accessory. I just, I, I just don't want to be limit, limited to one thing. Mm -hmm. Um, and I want to be able to <clears throat> give back to the industry in a different way. I won't say too much, but I, I will say, like, my goal is to again just be an, an accessory brand, and mm -hmm. if I can curate decor for um, mm -hmm. nail shops and things like right. that. Like, I feel like that is my realm. Like, I don't want to create a nail polish or anything, but if I can right. design a chair for you or like, you know, think things like that um, <clears throat> or just- That'd be cool. You know what I mean? Like, and yeah, yeah. just to give a, an ambiance of like what I know as mm -hmm. I, as a client, cause you have to think, I feel like as a nail artist, it is important to think of yourself as the artist and the client. Right. Like right. what would mm -hmm. you want? And when I when I walk into a lot of these salons, I'm like, oh, if only this, because I didn't I'm sorry, I'm going to, but I didn't know that um, <laughs> a lot of people hate to get their nails done. A lot of people mm -hmm. hate to sit in the salon. They complain, like, oh my God, it takes too long, or or this or that. And mm -hmm. I'm just about like making the experience better. So I would want right. the salons to be the experience making it better, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right, exactly. That's really, really cool. Now, last but not least, where can people find your social media and how can people support you and your work? You can find me on Twitter, on Instagram, and TikTok at Telly Talons. Um, I'm rebranding. My website will be out soon, tellytalons.art. And yeah, you can support me by like, following, and sharing. And I'm coming out with my hat soon, which I'm really excited right. about. Um, and yeah. Yeah, it's really, really cool. Well, thank you so much, Telly, for once again, you know, jumping onto the show. Yeah. Um, you know, I definitely would love to give you your kudos. You know, you've really, you know, set your own set your own tone for yourself in regards to nail artistry. And, you know, big congrats as well as being, you know, for being highlighted at the Without Us exhibition thank in you. New York. You know, and that's really cool for Jasmine to really do that for you, you know. So and I'm glad to have you back in terms of the nail industry, I you know, know. In the <laughs> nail scene. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you so much again. Thank you so much. And thank you for all that you're doing for us nail artists and anybody in the beauty industry, tech industry. Um, I think it's amazing the way that you connect with us all and really give us mm -hmm. our flowers and you're just pushing the limit. And I, I love it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And and that's what I do my best to do, you know, because I believe in credibility and accountability, especially yeah. in the nail industry, you know, so I do my very best to try to highlight others. And, you know, ever since I did my podcast, I realized that, yo, the purpose is bigger than me, exactly. you know, what I mean? so, you know, I definitely want to give back as, as much as I possibly can or any way that I can, you know, with this mm -hmm. podcast. So, you know, thank you so much for your kind words. No problem. And thank you. And I'll be back. Again, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you so much. Take care. Bye. Goodbye. Hello, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to click the bell for notifications. Also, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Be sure to check out my website, asiaatbird.com, and be on the lookout for more interviews to come very soon. Take care, stay healthy, and stay beautiful. Bye bye.